Okay, so um, I'm going to go over real quick how I do nice uh, wood textures for scenes where I have lots of pillars like this. So I usually throw in an image texture of some paneled wood and I plug it into the base color. Okay, now we have a kind of wonky looking wood texture over everything. So I'm going to tab into the edit mode. I'm going to select everything by hitting A and I'm going to press U and then press Q project. Um, now if I go over to the UV editor, we have everything uh, projected out. So I'm going to select the floor here and I'm going to just uh, rotate it and line it up with some of this paneling so that it looks kind of natural. Uh, generally most floors don't have a paneling like this, but it will be fine for right now. And then I'm going to go and um, I'm going to select the uh, pillar instead. And you can see that the pillar actually looks pretty good already, but I'm going to go around and I'm going to select some of these uh, loops of the, uh, like some of the rings around the pillar. And I'm going to just drag the uh, unwrapped bits up onto this nice uh, kind of like textured bump area up here just to give it some uh, offset. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to hop back over into the shader editor and I'm going to drag the specular and the roughness into our image texture here. And you can see already this just makes the floor look much better. I'm going to then drag the normal up into the image texture and I'm going to add in a bump map and you know how this goes. You plug it into the height, uh, drag down the strength because oh my goodness. And um, I usually like to press invert, but really it just depends on what the scene is that you're doing and which looks better. Okay, um, I'm also going to try and control the amount of roughness on here. So I'm gonna drag in a color ramp and plug this into the roughness. I'm gonna drag up the white value just to make the whole thing a little less reflective. And I'm gonna do the same for the uh, specular as well. Um, and just put it to a place where it looks good. For wood, generally, I like to have a little bit of reflectiveness, but not a crazy amount. This is generally how I do all my wood textures. This is just a really, really good way to get some quick results. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon.